Importance of Clothing Clothing is a basic necessity of human beings. Human beings wear clothes to protect themselves from heat and cold. Different types of clothes are worn according to different seasons and occasions. Early man used barks of trees, leaves and animal skin or fur as clothing. With the advent of science and technology, man developed a variety of clothing material. Fiber and Fabric Clothes are made from fabrics. A fabric is a continuous piece of cloth generally used as a dress material. Fabrics are of different kinds and each fabric is made up of a number of interwoven threads. These threads are known as yarn. Yarns are made up of fibers. Fibers are long, narrow, thin, tube-like structures derived from plants and animals or produced artificially by man. Fibers are used to make not just clothes but other useful things like tents, bags, mats, towels, curtains, etc. Types of fibers and their sources. According to their sources, fibers can be classified into two types. Natural fibers, man-made that is artificial fibers. Natural fibers, plant fibers, fibers which are obtained from plants are called plant fibers. Examples are, cotton fibers are found around the seeds of the cotton plant. Hemp is made from the stem of the hemp plant. Jute is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. The fibers on the shell of the coconut are used to make ropes, floor mats, door mats, etc. Animal fibers. Fibers obtained from animals are called animal fibers. Examples are We get wool from the thick hair of sheep. Silk is obtained from the cocoons of silkworms. Angora rabbits are reared on a large scale for their long soft wool. Making of cloth from fiber to fabric cotton. Cotton is a soft fiber which grows around the seeds of a cotton plant. Clothes made of cotton are durable and suitable for all kinds of weather. Stages involved in making a cotton fabric are ginning, the process of separating cotton fibers from cotton seeds is called ginning. These fibers are tied and pressed in bales. Spinning Spinning includes twisting the fibers to make a strong yarn. Weaving Yarn is turned into fabric by hand or through a machine called loom. Silk Silk is known for its softness, lusher and strength. Silk is a fine, soft thread produced by silkworms. Rearing of silkworms on a large scale is called sericulture. The stages involved in producing silk are Silkworms are cultivated on a large scale. They feed on mulberry leaves 
and lay eggs. Caterpillars hatch from eggs. They produce a sticky substance which they spin around themselves. The constant spinning produces fluffy little balls called cocoons. Threads of cocoons become hard when they come in contact with air. Cocoons are gathered and boiled in water. Silk thread is obtained from these cocoons. Threads are woven into cloth. Wool Wool is soft but a strong and durable fabric. It is obtained from sheep, goat, rabbit and even camels. Stages involved in production of wool are Shearing Removal of wool from the animal body is called shearing. It is done once every year. Sorting and grading It includes separating of damaged and stained wool from the rest and removing impurities like sand and dust by washing. Yarn making Dried wool is spun into threads. Dyeing and knitting Wool is dyed and knitted into a variety of fabrics. Artificial fibers Artificial or man-made fibers are of two types, regenerated and synthetic. Regenerated fibers These fibers are made from natural materials like cotton and wood pulp. They are chemically heated so the natural fibers are reborn or regenerated. Hence, these fibers are called regenerated fibers. Examples are rayon and acetate. Synthetic fibers These fibers are made entirely from chemicals. Examples are nylon, polyester, Properties and uses of artificial fibers Rayon It is a strong and absorbent fabric like cotton. It is obtained by chemically treating wood pulp. Uses It is used to make bed covers, blankets, tablecloth, curtain and draperies. Curtains and draperies. Acetate. It is not a strong fiber, but it dries fast and does not crease. Nylon. It is a smooth, non absorbent, lightweight, durable fiber. It does not wrinkle easily and dries quickly. Nylon is made from petroleum products. Uses It is used to make umbrellas, sportswear, tents, luggage, sleeping bags, bristles of brushes, etc. Polyester It does not crease easily. It is easily washable and is made entirely from chemicals. Uses It is used to manufacture fiber fill used in pillows and make dresses, jackets, sportswear and raincoats. Acrylic It resembles wool. It is an easy care fabric which is comfortable to wear. It dries quickly. It is obtained when the fibers are either wet spun or dry spun. Uses It is used to make sweaters, socks, kids wear, blankets 
and rugs. Cotton from plant. Cotton is used to make garments, furnishings, bags, luggage, canvases, items of medical use such as bandage. We get silk from silk worms. Silk is used to make clothes, home furnishings, etc. We get wool from animal. Wool is used to make sweaters, blankets, etc. Hemp. We get hemp from plant. It is used to make curtains, bed covers, etc. We get jute from plant. Jute is used to make footwear, rope, etc. Now I know.